Stem entry in three, two, one. But I won't cry for yesterday. There's no ordinary world. Somehow I have to Hey everybody, we're back. So, what are we doing here? Um, I don't know my health. Ah, there's my health. So I don't need to drink that coffee. I don't need to drink that coffee. No, oh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> that's a terrible joke. So this week, I've been watching the Real Silent Hill experience that Twin Perfect did. I I actually really like Twin Perfect's channel. They're pretty good. I just recently discovered them, and so I watched through, you know, the the uh, real Silent Hill experience, and um, they they have one of the best defenses of Prometheus that I've seen, which is nice because I really like Prometheus. I think it was a pretty good film, and I would say that Alien Covenant was really good too. Um, but you know, it, they're. The, the fans do not agree on that. You know, we, we do not agree, the fan base. There are some people who are like, Oh yeah, this is great! And then there are people like, No, it's stupid, it's bad. It's like, well, what do you really want? Because there's... There's many ways that this could go, and I think that right now this is going really well. I really like the character of David, for example. I think that's one of the strongest characters that the Alien universe has had. Um, especially antagonist wise because the antagonist has always been kind of the company and um, and uh, oh I gotta climb up uh, the company and the uh, the the uh, aliens and that's it you know there hasn't been this great villain Okay, so that's the same one that I saw before. So I've got to go back. I've got to be back. Let's check the map. Okay. So here we've got Stefano and his art. Okay. So I've got to make it across. I got to make it down the street, basically. There's all these bushes over here. I might try this. One of the coolest things about this game is, oh, no fall damage. The monster. Does he see me? Does the monster is looking for me? I wonder if I can get up behind him. That is just a dude going <laughs> into a mic. It's it's not really monster sounds. <laughs> Which is, I guess, better than having, for example, uh, cat sounds like in Resident Evil 4. Because Resident Evil 4 is a great game, but that's one of the weakest bits. Can I climb in through the window? It's broken. I should be able to climb in through the window. But I've got all kinds of people following me. Someone threw an axe. Yeah, 
You can't stop me slowly climbing this ladder. What you got for me, boys? Come on. Anybody? Anybody? That's just a garbage bag. There they are. Ooh, I could. I could. How dumb is it? How dumb is it to waste a sniper round on her? Hmm. I think it's pretty dumb. I could probably just sneak around them. But yeah, Twin Perfect's pretty funny. I enjoy them. Et complete! <laughs> I've been saying that to myself all week. Dun, dun, dun. And quietly sneak into this door. There's a lock on this door. Oh, good. It looks like if I had a key, I could open it. I need the key. Oh, the key. <laughs> Come on now. No, she founded me again. You still coming? Because she decided to leave. Are you still coming? Yep. Ack! Son of a gun, really? <laughs> that should not have hit him in the head. That was great. Did that attract more monsters? I don't think so. So I cannot get in there without the key. I wonder... Where the key is, because I actually don't know that. I did not find that house before. Am I even going the right way? Unknown resonance. Oh, they're both Stefano's art. Unknown resonance. That has got to be the ghost. Do we want to do ghost lady fun? Lots of just walking around. Alexa, come on now. Shush! I'm sorry. I tried to be quick. Yeah, I know, but just quiet. She's here. There she is. As long as I can creep around without her seeing me, I should be fine. I'm gonna look into garbage. Oh, look, I found gunpowder. And then I can just pour stuff on it, and it becomes bullets, like Resident Evil 7. All right, all right. That's the bank. You can't see me, I'm in bushes. Wow, could you see me, I was in bushes. I don't understand. The, f the foliage is supposed to, to... Let, let's talk about the devil's own tap house, the tap room here. Um, when I saw this originally, I thought it was the devil's own tapas. Just because I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, right? 
Oh, crap. Ah, crap. And the door. And the door. <laughs> so, it's like, Oh, yeah, the devil's own tapas. Because if there's something that the devil loves, it's food to share. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can hear me, but they can't see me because I'm inside. I got bottles. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's not what I want. I want this. No. There. There it is. Hmm. Medical kit or syringe? I want a kit. I'll get used to it at some point. Well, I should be able to place stuff on the jukebox. Oh, well. I should just hit it and it should play Kowloon or, um... An ordinary world. Okay. The final entry in this well worn journal. The tap room's been booming. Business is good. Lots of new faces in Union these days. They're arriving by the train load and they're thirsty. If this if it keeps up like if it keeps up like this, I'll finally be able to afford some beer taps. Pete complains about the crowd sit but I say the more the merrier. He's always cantankerous, but lately he's been acting really weird. He sits in there in his usual spot, giving new customers a stink eye, mumbling to himself. I would cut him off, but he's always been my best customer. It's almost like he's turning into a monster. A fuse. Wow, I, I'm just drowning in materials for that kind of stuff. So this is his art? It's just a photo. I was hoping that this would be a real thing, but oh, it's just a photo of it. I'm going to stab the shit out of you. <laughs> All righty. I need the key. Shit. Gotta find a key or something. Gotta find a key or something. You know, like a key. <laughs> Don't cry. You're becoming art. You shall be part of my obscura. I need to look up obscura. Find out the history of all that. Why they keep using the camera obscure, obscure and things like that. Softer than marble, it really is the perfect medium. So he's psycho. I can't concentrate like this. A sculpture doesn't mean. I found the key. It's an arm. And now there's all kinds of stuff going on in here. And I found a smoke bolt. And I found some handgun bullets. Thank you, ghost. Four handgun bullets really helps me. Oh look, there's monsters. Oh crap. Moving. Boom. Come on, buddy. Yeah. 
Enjoy. What you gonna do now? Nothing. Hack! There it is. Yeah, give me my stuff. There we go. Here's the difference between a horror game like a like this or Dead Space, like action horror, and survival horror. In survival horror, the enemies don't give you items. You know, you can't loot enemies in a, in a survival horror game. You know, because I, I just beat Resident Evil 7 for the first time um, in my off time. And, oh, I already, I already have an axe? Huh. Look at that. Um, I beat Resident Evil 7 in my off time. And that's one of the things that I noticed most was, you know, you, you kill the molded and you don't even worry about... Um, about, you know, trying to loot them or anything, because, you know, there's nothing there. I want to try to stealth you. And if not stealth, then melee, because I can pick up another axe. I do have the corner takedown, don't I? Pretty sure I do. <laughs> Why are you screaming at a corner, lady? Yeah! That's what I wanted. Alrighty. I gotta say, this flashlight acts a little weird sometimes. Come on. Everybody be cool. Just stealthing you. It's fine, I'm just gonna smack him. Enjoy. Thank you. And then we'll just run over and grab that hex from before. So, you know, this has survival elements because you're always looking for, you know, your next bullet. And, you know, especially in the early game, you're running up on, I have no bullets. I just have none. I have no bullets, and my knife does nothing, it's time to run, right? In survival horror, you know, especially, you know, and, and Resident Evil, you know, you, you're, you're having even less of a easy time, you know, finding rounds. Because, you know, you, you do shoot, but, you know, near the end, it becomes a, kind of a shooting gallery, to be honest. Um, and I didn't find the, the bosses to be really hard. But, well, except for Marguerite. Marguerite gave me a weird time. Or gave me a weirdly hard time. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's a very different experience. You know? Here, I'm running around with all kinds of materials and stuff. And I'm crafting stuff and all that. Upgrading things. You know, there's no real upgrades in the, the Resident Evil games. In that way. Except for Resident Evil 4, which... You know, kind of created the action horror genre. If we're going to be honest. Okay. Right underneath there. And since I just beat Resident Evil 7, I'm, I'm very familiar with these tripwires and going, Oh, Lucas, why? 
Why is there one that's a bomb here? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, Hoffman. Hope you're right about destroying these things. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to creep up behind this thing, right? Then you get into his little time stop cube and you chop them all up. Taken care of. So, you know, relatively easy. Relatively. Getting here is actually the hard part. Destroying that freak's work was actually therapeutic, but I'm not done yet. One more. Hey, look at that. I found a pipe. I got three pipes, so I could make some if I get to a safe house. If I remember correctly, there's actually one pretty close to here. I just have to wait for her to go away. Because having her involved as well is ridiculous. Is there a car that I can hide behind? There is. It's over there, though. She'd see me before I got there. Okay, okay, okay. Planning. Scheming. Compiling. Come on. Okay, she's not looking this way. Now she is. Holy crap. Run! It should be... It's not there. Okay, where is it? I'm confused. This is bad. Confused is bad right now. Whoa! There it is. That's what I want. Right there. Oh, jeez. This is the dumbest. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> Maybe I can get the jump on him. Uh, you know what? I don't think so, because I have the boss just running after me. Oh jeez. Everything is going bad right now. Uh, refuge. Somewhere, anywhere. Let's go to the hotel. Sanctuary Hotel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't come in here. Why? Because it's holy ground? I don't know, maybe. Like, literally, none of you can come in here. That's awesome. <laughs> well, this is the other art location. So, there's that. Because, if you look... I'm in the other lower location. I gotta go there though. I kinda wanna do it before I do the art, so maybe I'll loot this place first. Ow. Loot this place first, then, then figure out a way out. Oh, that's the dumbest. It's like, Grr, I want to get in there. <laughs> it's like, the door's open, dude. Oh, there's just a hand. Yeah. Nothing. So there isn't a back door on this hotel. 
which is not exactly, you know, logical, but, you know, okay. Well, there's no back door on it, so... You know, honestly, this kind of looks like a mini Great Northern from from Twin Peaks. That's kind of funny. Because you got the fireplace and you got these rafters. Like, they, these rafters specifically make it really, really look like the Great Northern. into the bushes that don't always protect me but sometimes they do I think it only protects that grayed out portion and that's why those bushes didn't quite shield me that was the perfect time to go but you know I'll wait, I'll wait till she's behind the bus again keep walking honey or maybe I'll just nope nope she's gonna turn around yep we're gonna wait till she's behind the bus again. See, honestly, she should like attack the cars and stuff. I think that would be really cool. You got that one of her, you know, hitting the bus. But other than that, there wasn't anything like this. You know, anything anything like her uh, hitting the cars or anything cool. You know, interacting with the environment. There was that one kind of scripted trigger where I uh, got the, the memory thing and then she shows up and you're like, oh crap. That's a witch. It's a witch! My weapon, huh? Alright. The glitchiest crap possible is happening. And there's also a witch. I hear her. Yeah. You can feel when she's coming because of the uh, vibration, which is kind of cool. It makes the controller shake when she gets near. Just climb up, you stupid... Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Very slowly. Very stealthily. We're going to come up onto this porch. Which is like the porch that I had when I went at that, you know, the, the house that I lived in when I was, uh, well, about 10 actually, which is interesting. Didn't have the, the big French windows there, but, you know. Hey, I might be able to climb over that fence. Of course, I think there's a witch here, too. No, I don't see one. Awesome, I found another way in. Well, that's not what I wanted, but it'll work. There we go.
Ah, crap. <laughs> 